Clouds. Locked. What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. Today I'm announcing something very exciting. The global release of World Zombination is upon us. So on screen I'm going to show you the game. And if you guys want to download it, I highly recommend you give it a try. I put the download link in the description below. So click on that link. It'll bring you right to it and you can download it for free. Then do me a big favor and tell me after you've used that link what you think of the game. I want to hear what your favorite parts are. And if you want to join my guild, I'll have a video out about that soon so you guys can get real close to me and talk to me in person in there and here we go just recharging my guys upgrading them and getting ready as you can see look how cool this looks level 20 cop she is awesome now she's a gunner girl i'll explain a lot more in detail later but i just want to show you the gameplay and kind of upgrade some troops in front of you show you what everything looks like because it is a very impressive visual game so i will have a lot of really cool videos on my world zombination expert channel and of course, on these channels, I'll do a couple videos, but I won't put too many out on the Clash Army or on King 24412, just because they are primarily Clash. But I want to do a few videos just to show you how epic a game this is. It's really a lot of fun. It's kind of a mix of tower defense on one side of the board if you're humans. And if you're zombies, I don't even know how to classify it, but you're just a raving horde of just like lunatics that attack and kill people. So it's a lot of fun. And definitely some interesting strategies on both sides of the board. And it's really cool you can have both completely different strategized games inside of one single game. And it is really a lot to work on and it's a lot of fun. And as you can see, those are like special abilities you can upgrade. This is where you get your free resources. They're kind of like mines and pumps basically for your boxes and cans. They do farm them for free for you. And uh, as you can see, I'm just going to click back on it. Look how cool they look. As I actually click on them, sorry, I just got a text message, got distracted. <laughs> I do get free loot, and uh, you can upgrade how much you get by putting higher level troops in at the bottom there in those level 35 spots. I could put troops in there if I had enough. I just don't have any level 35s I'm willing to spare at the moment. However, in the future, I will, and I will definitely keep you guys updated on that. However, let's show what you can buy inside the game, and then we'll show you some epic gameplay and show you what you can do. It is a lot of fun, guys. Look how cool these packs look. So it's kind of like a card game in a way. You can buy troops if you don't want to win them. Um, obviously, the best one you can do is buy that legendary pack. It gives you the rarest units. It gives you five guaranteed epics, and then it gives you one legendary troop. So that's really, really cool. Definitely something I would recommend buying when you first start. Uh, or, you know what, any time during the game, if you don't want to put 20 bucks in right away, completely understand. You can win coins quite a bit inside the game, so that's the good news. And you also win a lot of troops by doing different things in the game. You can win legendaries from quite a few different things. It is random. Obviously, you have a percent chance of gaining each one depending on your level of guild. Also, depending on how many times you play. It really changes a lot. But let's go ahead and do an easy one. Let's attack Vancouver. And you know what? We'll do it on Expert. And just because it'll be some high-level gameplay for you guys. Now, there is an option for Quick Fight. I'll explain that later, but the basic principle is it uses all your energy and gives you the optimum win. So, you normally can attack three times with your troops before they burn out. But if you don't have time to attack, you can use quick attack just to go ahead and get the optimum win instantly uh, without having to wait. Like, let's say you're in the car and you're driving to work or whatever, you just want to click that button. You can do that and it takes no brains at all and you automatically win. So, that's kind of cool. I like that. Now, the way you do is you just drag and drop troops onto the blue pads. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, right off the bat here, I'm going to drop down a commando. She's a gunner girl. Along with a machine gunner, you can see it just dragging and dropping. Another thing you'll notice is while I'm dragging and dropping troops while the actual wave is coming, you're going to see that it actually slows down time as soon as I touch and start dragging a troop. Now, you'll notice that later, and we'll get to that definitely as we start here. Um, don't know how this one will go. We'll see. It should be interesting. This is all live. But you can tell that the gunner girl is doing a lot of damage there. She's shooting and she's absolutely wrecking. However, she's about to get overwhelmed. So we do need to get some melee units down there. We don't have any I can drop yet. So I'm going to drop a distraction troop down, a researcher. And she's going to go down. So we did just lose that whole pad. That was pretty poorly done. I am really new to this new version of the game, unfortunately. So I'm learning a lot of new tactics quickly, guys. So bear with me. Obviously, 3.0 just changed the way the gameplay is and how you attack and defend. So I'm going to use some flares here and try and buy some time. As you can see, as soon as I start dragging a troop, 
you can tell it slows down the zombies, which is really, really cool. And that gunner girl is going to die really fast, unfortunately. Now, I have no more troops I can drop until they recharge. This is really bad news. Looks like we're going to lose a building, if not more. So what I'm going to do is continue to drop down these troops, trying to distract the zombies. Not working so well. So we're going to try and build up here. And we do have a melee unit, so that's good news. Throw down a lumberjack. He should be able to do some work. And the scatter shot should be able to cover them. Now, we're going to flare the guys away to save their lives as long as possible. And we do have a Molotov cocktail we just dropped, which is an explosive bomb, basically, you could drop on your zombies and kill them. And as you can see, just starting to drop down troops everywhere, trying to build them up. And my surgeon will start reviving people, which is really helpful. She's a very strong unit. I'd highly recommend you upgrade. Now, as you can see, I'm just dragging and dropping troops, trying to keep these zombies busy. And even though I did lose one building, with the speed at which I'm dropping troops and with that surgeon having revived a few, I was able to kill the horde and make sure that we actually overall cleared the board and we do win. Now, there are three tiers to winning nowadays with this new 3.0 update that you guys will be playing. And as you can see, it's based on how many trophies you won per battle. So I got 460. If I had actually defended that last, or I should say the first hospital, I would have gotten all 500 and gotten the third reward but I got cans and I got a firefighter troop for free and you can win a random troop sometimes you get epic or a legendary it's just completely random and there are percentages of chance for each one obviously but it's all dependent on each map and how difficult the settings are so real big deal though here is we're gonna do one more awesome attack and tiff tiff gave us a borrowed unit of a machine gunner that's really helpful um, if you guys didn't see, I did do an exclusive interview with the CEO of Proletariat, whose name is Seth, and he's an awesome guy, really fun, and they do Twitch live streams every Friday with you guys, and that's something I really highly respect, because it means they really do give a lot of their time to their fans and to their content creators like myself. And that's something that's really rare to find in game developers. So here you can see, I am dropping my troops. I'm trying to defend that main building on the left there. I do want, it's got a trophy over by the way guys, and it's highlighted in blue. It is a nuclear power plant, so we gotta guard that. And that's the main thing we gotta do. So we're building up troops in the barricaded areas that have fences and walls. That's where we wanna hold our strongest guys. Obviously that's the best place to hold because they have a little bit of defense and time to kill before they get overwhelmed by any zombies. Now, if you get lucky and there's only one building you need to defend on a map, it's a lot easier. This one has two, and it seems to be doing all right here. Hold on, we gotta focus on this. This is a dangerous zone, guys. We need to make sure these zombies do not, I repeat, do not get to this building. Uh, let's drop a melee unit there and hope for the best. I'm contemplating dropping down. You know what, we're gonna drop that guy over there and then scoot him over, you can see. All you gotta do is tap the pad and then tap where you want the uh, troop to go and they will go anywhere inside that little blue circle that pops up there. So that's really cool. As you can see though, we did manage to kick this wave, but there's one more wave left and we're gonna hopefully smash it and get a full trophy amount, but let's find out how it goes. This was a decently easy map. I did enjoy playing with it though and it has been a lot of fun learning the new strategies with only being able to drop one troop at a time. It used to be you could drop all your troops at once and you'd be able to drop like three times seven, so like 21 troops on the board. But now it's a lot more high paced. You gotta use your tacticals. You gotta actually place your troops better. It's a lot better as a strategy game now. So as I said, make sure you give me feedback in the comments below. I really do appreciate it. Like this video, subscribe to both my channel, uh, Clash Army, and of course, World Zombination Expert, which will be the lead channel for Zombination content. We have a bunch of creators on there that are really awesome, and they will be doing epic gameplay for you guys. So stay tuned, and thanks for everything, guys. Love you. Peace.